Hey, I'm John Cannell. Today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making chicken fajitas. So let's get started. Before I get started, I have a very special visitor today. My lovely mother Rita is visiting for my birthday, so I thought, why not make something together on camera? Come on, come oh, on over. Hello, good it's to be with so you. Long. Hi. People have been asking about you. Oh, thank you. They don't realize that you live far away now. Oh, mm. I do, oh. unfortunately. So we're making chicken fajitas today. Yeah, I love them. We're gonna do a little bit of prep work first. So I'm gonna put you to work. <laughs> I'm gonna get my own knife. And who picked these? We did from the from your yes. garden. <laughs> Freshly picked. You can tell there's like such a soft skin on them. Anyways, we're gonna chop up three bell peppers. I have different colors for um, just some variety. Remove the seeds. Always. <laughs> and then we're gonna give everything a slice. So good to have a lot of vegetables in your fajitas. Yeah. And at the same time, I'm gonna be chopping up these beautiful little onions from our garden and just cutting them into wedges. These are super fresh, so they only have a little tiny skin. I know, I love the size. That's, I've been waiting for that for so long because when you uh, buy onions at the supermarket, they can like, they have like, all those papery layers, yeah. but I know that when you grow them yourself, they have barely any. And look at this. <laughs> no tears. What's happening? <laughs> No tears. There's no tears because it's the old onions that really have mm. the tear-inducing qualities. Did you know that? No. It's the old ones. <sighs> and normally in this recipe you'd use two onions, but these are like little baby ones, so we're using three today. Really it's all up to taste though. It's like if you, for example, hate bell peppers, you can skip the bell peppers. It's totally fine. Well, it's good that you say that because at home I can do a variation of uh, vegetables. Uh huh. And I love zucchini, uh, and then the pepper, the onions have to be a little bit caramelized for yeah. me. Um. Oh my gosh, she chopped so much faster than I did. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm getting a little bit of tears in my eyes. Really? Okay. That's and one. just like that, we're done it's with done. all of our chopping. Okay. We didn't chop this one though. You told me you didn't want we're to. We're going to chop this up <laughs> off camera. <laughs> And then we're gonna get all of our spices and the lime juice and everything else out to make these fajitas really delicious. Mm. All right, so first of all, we're gonna compare my mom's recipe to mine because <laughs> I didn't ask her advice on this one. <laughs> Two tablespoons, 30 ml of vegetable oil. Yes. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna zest two limes. So I know that like you, I love lime and yes. lemon zest. Love them. Did you, you wanna tell everyone what I made? Uh, Oh. What, what special treat I made for you? Oh my God, the glorious margarita, passion fruit margarita that I was to die for. I made these passion fruit margaritas for mm. her. Um, and Heavenly. Me. And the instead of just instead of salting the edge, I sugared them because my mom doesn't. My mom does not like salt. Um, but I added granulated sugar with brown sugar, so it wouldn't be like I wanted to mix and lime zest, and I worked it in so it's a lime sugar, and mm. that was on the edge, and it was really good. Lovely. Um, let us know if you want that passion fruit margarita recipe because it was actually like superior to anything ever tasted, <laughs> really. She's biased. <laughs> We're gonna juice one lime. Oh, do you see this? Dry. It's like dry. So sad. And they are dry because they are not matured. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or they can dry when they are too, too old. It's just like a Goldilocks situation. Sad. I'm gonna juice one lime and I'm eyeballing it. I know I want a few tablespoons of lime juice, but. If it's too wet and there's too much lime juice, it's not really gonna be like a rub anymore. We want it to be like a paste. That's true. It'll be more like a marinade. And this yeah. isn't a marinade, it's a rub. I can understand that. Okay, now, can you guess what this is? Yes, pepper. More chili specific? pepper. I don't wanna taste it. <laughs> it's chili pepper. It's chili pepper. One and a half teaspoons of chili powder, in you go. Paprika. What's that? Can you guess how much it is? About a tablespoon. I, I mean, take a teaspoon. <laughs> That's a teaspoon. <laughs> oh, it's half a teaspoon of paprika. Wait, that was half a teaspoon of paprika. Well, we were both a, wrong. How much is this? Uh, one tablespoon or two teaspoons of cumin. Two teaspoons of powdered cumin. She was right. And you go. We both love <laughs> cumin. It's such a good spice. Garlic powder. Yeah. Yeah. One teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm just quizzing her because I always. Oregano. <laughs> All right, one teaspoon of oregano, and that brings us to the salt and pepper. You're gonna add this 
I would say to taste, but we're gonna give you a guideline because some people like their. I like a lot of black pepper. Yeah, she does. And it has antioxidants. Eyeballing it. <laughs> you can always add later. All right, and you can add one teaspoon of salt. We'll let you eyeball it. <gasps> oh, yeah. There we go. It's a long way. <laughs> I'm only laughing because my mom is so anti-salt normally. <laughs> I've never seen this in my life. Or sugar. Okay. Let's give this a little stir. This is interesting. So I said you wanted a paste, and this is coming together in a nice paste. See? Mm-hmm. I feel like we could add a little lime juice, and this one looks much more promising. Now, I love lime like no one's business. I love all the citrus fruits. So, if you want to have more lime flavor, we're going to add it in later. So I'm not going to like, this is going to go into the recipe, but we're going to add it in towards the end. But for now, I just want a nice paste to cover this up. See, that's mm -hmm. nice. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I posted a story on Instagram of you making my special birthday treat, oh. <laughs> and everyone thought you were Greek. <laughs> At heart. My dad was Greek, uh, my mom is from Mexico. So just FYI, if you see her making any special Greek desserts for me, this is fine. Well, we always cook Greek food. Yeah, we love Greek food too. I mean, uh, Mediterranean food is very healthy. This is true. All right, so right now we're going to be just covering our chicken up with this paste, like that. I'm using a, like one and a half pounds of chicken. You could also add a little bit more, add a little bit less, and what would you use? I will add some um, uh, chipotle peppers a little bit because of the oh. smokiness. Mm -hmm. It will be amazing. Um, but then you can also do, if you don't want to do chicken, you can do fish or, you know, uh, beef. And, and if not, you can do vegetarian. Yeah. But today... It's fish. It's chicken. I mean chicken. <laughs> <laughs> These are all coated Ready. up. We prepped all our veggies and now we just have to grab... Oh, all my strength. You want a large cast iron pan them. for this? Mm. I didn't know that cast iron had to be like a happy medium between too smooth and not smooth enough. If it's too smooth, you know what happens? It doesn't brown. It doesn't um, season. Mm -hmm. The seasoning doesn't stick. But if it's too rough, it's just like not nice. We're gonna put this over medium heat with a little bit of oil and head over to the stove. Yes. Ready? Ready. I added two tablespoons of olive oil into my pan. It's heating up and I'm waiting for it to dance. It's that all, you'll, you'll see the oil rippling on the surface. Sometimes it smokes a little bit when it's ready. Yeah, but you want to use a high heat oil. Yeah, not burning. My oil is dancing. Right now we're going to add our chicken breasts in carefully. Ooh, that's the sizzle we all love from a fajita. How does that smell? Excellent, beautiful. Okay. So delicious. And get the rest of those herbs out. Our chicken's in. We're going to let this cook for about eight minutes per side. It kind of depends on the thickness of your chicken as well, so. Keep an eye on it, about eight minutes per side, and then on to the next step. All right, does this look about right? It's getting close. So you press it. Yeah, it's too tender. And you can tell that it's not done because... But because... It's bouncing back. This is ready? This is ready. So we're gonna take these off. Now it's time for the onion. So we're gonna cook these onions for about five minutes or until they start to soften. If you have smaller onions like we do, maybe a little bit less. Yes. Stir frequently, they will burn. Mm. I was like, oh, this is really happening slowly. I turned the pan off. <laughs> <laughs> I said no chance of that. <laughs> we were resetting the camera. <laughs> Took a second. There we go. I was like, oh, that sizzle is like so soft. <laughs> Mm, but the smell. That's okay. It's just the nice thing about a cast iron pan is it really retains the heat for a long time. Mm -hmm. Getting close. Come and take a look at this. I want you to see how the the onion is looking right now. The onion is crossing the line into delicious. Like that's a delicious onion piece right there. These are mostly still raw, but we're gonna continue cooking with the bell pepper. So, mom, can you get some bell pepper? Beautiful bell pepper coming up. Mm. And red for more color. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're gonna cook these for like five minutes to get to the crisp, tender stage. My mom and I both love crisp vegetables. Yeah. We so don't, don't like them slow. <laughs> don't overcook them because you're not adding more flavor, you're just taking away the texture and the you want some crunch, some crunch yeah. to help things along. I think they are more uh, nutritious also when they are not so uh, yeah. you know overcooked. So while we cook the peppers, the chicken's been resting for a little bit of time, so we can take the chicken out, Better. give it a nice slice into thin pieces, and then as needed, season. Ooh. The seasoning is really on all sides except the center. I don't like to slice them in too thick because then when you add them to your fajita and when you're making it, you can add more vegetables and whatever else you want, avocado. But this looks beautiful. You it's so doing, well cooked. Oh, oh, I missed your slicing. <laughs> I like slicing, but I love having sharp knives. When they are dull, it's frustrating. Oh my gosh. I, I should do a whole video on taking care of your knives because even if you buy, I'm still stirring, don't worry. <laughs> even if you buy like a nice knife, you still have to sharpen them fairly regularly. So the chicken looks beautiful. It is perfectly cooked. And guess what our bell peppers are? Ready. Crisp tender. Oh, good. Okay. But you see that the chicken is not dry mm. or uncooked and it's beautifully uh, seasoned, so fajitas are going to rock. Okay. All right, we're gonna add that delicious chicken in right now. Stir it in just to mix it up. That looks so good. Mom, do you think this needs a blessing of lime juice? Of course, okay. you read my mind. You may do the honors. <laughs> you read my mind. Remove this from heat, and now you can serve this with tortillas, some sour cream, guacamole, guacamole salsa. Uh, lettuce. Let it, I like a mountain of cilantro on top of oh mine. Oh my god, yeah. Maybe some radishes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some roasted peppers on the side for people who like heat or, but they will be amazing. Mm. 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 Amazing. That's really good. The best. I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, check out my Latin playlist.